Brooklyn Independent Television. If you've seen a lot of old movies or TV shows, you know how large a role the general store used to play in our lives. The dry goods merchant was all things to all customers, selling everything from lace to licorice to long johns. Most general stores are gone now, but in Borum Hill, Sector B Sherry Carabin found one that's managed to stay alive by playing its own tune. From music lessons to metronomes and mandolin strings, customers can find just about anything at Musicians General Store. Well, when I take up the uke, I'll, I'll buy one of these then. Cool, How's cool. that? Great. Great. Well, thanks. I, I knew you'd have them, so Thank I'm you. here. And I wanted to have uh, a store that could not only do services, but supply um, musicians with just about all the different accessories without having to go to big box stores or, you know, into Manhattan. This is something that you could put across the keyboard also for children that are just learning how to play. Domingo Toll and his wife Roseanne have been on something of a retail space odyssey. They opened the business in 1993 at a location on Amity Street, later moving to Court Street, where they remained until rising real estate prices forced them to close in 2006. And we had a full-line music store there, and we were there for 10 years. But several years later, they came upon their current space at 177 Smith Street, which was up for sale and they decided once again to give it a go. They opened in the fall of 2011, thereby escaping the worst part of the downturn. That was planned. We basically did not want to open up at a time when we knew that would be an extra challenge to try to overcome that. We saw the economy starting to pick up a little bit. We always had it in the back of our minds that we wanted to reopen again. If the time was right, if the location was right. This happened a little sooner than we expected it to happen, but I, I mean, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. They were here in a previous incarnation, and I was devastated when they closed down, but I mean, I understood, you know, people were doing other things. When I found out this was going to open again, I was really thrilled. Because their new location is much smaller than the building they occupied on Court Street, they have very few large instruments for sale. But the owners still try to stay true to their name, offering nuts and bolts items used by both amateurs and professionals. Acoustic, electric guitar, and uh, mandolin, banjo, quattro, ukulele. How did you come up with the concept for General Store? When we first walked into the small store that we actually wanted to take over on Amity Street when we first started in 93, had this facade where it was small window panes. And we hadn't come up with a name yet, but we're looking at it and says, you know, that looks like a little general store. Let's call it Musician's General Store. And it fit perfectly with the concept of just wanting to sell accessories. Monica. These are inexpensive ones. These are for people that are just learning. They're in the key of C. Mm -hmm. And then we have the more professional yeah, ones in that, in that right. case over there. In addition to what's for sale, the owners also rent equipment. They are willing to help customers locate instruments and equipment they don't carry. We do full entertainment production. That means live sound, stage, video. We also do repair work, minor repair work, guitar and brass woodwind repair. And we have a full music school. Musicians General Store is open seven days a week, employing 11 teachers and two part-time people. Is this the perfect job for you as a musician? Hands down, definitely perfect job. Have music, accessories, accessibility, part-time so I can still gig on the weekend. As for the future, the owners say they're hoping to stay put for the next 10 years, but they are open to growing the business. More outward, more in the services end of things, more in, uh, in the school. The school has so much potential still to grow and uh, carry 
real specific niche type of accessories where it's a destination for people to come to. Reporting for Sector B, I'm Sherry Carabin. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.